Well, good morning. I uh, usually do things about motorcycles, but uh, today I want to try something different. My other passion, photography. And I'm more of a layman's term, so I don't going to get into any specs and any things, but I have owned uh, many cameras from Sony, Panasonic, Olympus, Nikon, Canon, and pretty much I've gone back to Canon and stayed with Canon. So, today's video pretty much is I'm going to review this beast, the 1DX Mark III. Now, I can't afford $6,000 something dollars for a camera, so I just rented it from Borrowed Lenses, which I seem to be uh, you know, renting a lot of stuff from them. They're a very good organization. The first thing that drew me to this thing was the constant shutter speed. And I will tell you, I mean, this thing has an unlimited buffer. I mean, that is, that is what I need when I capture animals and, and, and birds and stuff like that. So, why am I doing this? Well, I had originally had the, Mach, uh, the 7D Mark II, and I'm actually going to buy that again. Because the first one I gave to my daughter in hopes that the D90 from Canon would have been good. But the pictures were too noisy for me when I had cropped on pictures, and that's important when you get real close, but you can't get close enough you want to crop it. It just had too much noise ISO, and I don't care what shutter speed I shot, what ISO I shot, it had too much noise. So when I actually inquired about it, they said, well, there's nothing we can do about the noise, get a new camera. I'd really like to have this camera, but first of all, I want to put it through the ringers. I want to test it out with all my lenses. I got the 50 millimeter on the camera right now. I got my Canon 28 millimeter. The uh, 2.2 times teleconverter from my other lens. Tamron 10 to 24. Canon, the original one, I guess the uh, workhorse of the fleet, the 70 to 200. I love this lens. I really do. Plus the teleconverter. And then, of course, I want to put it on my big one, the Tamron 150 to 600. Now I've had Sigma, and that's not a problem. I've used all these kinds of lenses, but the problem I had is the upgrade to a new camera, like the 90D, they talk about resolution power. I have no idea about that stuff. It's about calibrating your lens, et cetera, et cetera. Well, for us simpletons, we don't do that too much. We just want to shoot things. Oh yeah, forget my background. I don't have an office yet. My home is still being built, so bear with me. I want to play with my lens. As you can see, that's a lot of money I have already invested in the glass. And I did rent from borrowed lenses, my 100 to 400 uh, new lens. I liked it, but for $1,700, I might as well buy me a new camera that works with all the lenses that I got. That's plain and simple. So like I said, starting price on this Canon 1DX Mark III is $6,500. You're not finding it any cheaper. I'm hoping within a year when I save some nickels and dimes, through my photography business that maybe I can afford one eventually and the prices will come down. What makes this even more expensive is the CF Express cards. These are expensive and the readers are expensive for this thing. And so far I have been playing with this so today. Uh, all the features that you want to see on this camera are on other videos. I watch Tony and Chelsea Northrop all the time. I watch all the YouTube videos, Manny Gar uh, Ortez, and a few more for the cameras. I, I spent a lot of time as far as that. My drone habits also is young 360. But things that I didn't know about the camera, and they were very hard to find, is how to adjust the focus inside the eyepiece. Nobody ever talked about that. What you have to do is you have to take off the eyepiece cover, and behind it is the adjusting focal length. So that brings me to something else I found that I like. I hated them caps that slide up and down. Well, this one here has an automatic shutter. There you go. It shuts the back screen for night photography, self-portraits, and etc. like that. The, the back of the LCD display is fantastic. It's easy to figure out. I do like it's going to take some time to get used to. It's the autofocus button back here that allows you to move the, the tracking points quicker and easier. Like I said, there's other videos out there that are going to tell you the same thing and they're going to go in depth because they got all the fancy stuff to put on there where you can actually see it on the screen. I'm a simpleton. I'm old fashioned. I like things simple. So, I've got this camera for 13 more days. I'm going to put it through the ringers and I'm going to come back and we're going to talk about it. I'm going to show you some of the pictures and the differences. Why I'm going to stay with the 7D Mark II. Why I got rid of my 90D for the issues of my photography. Like I said, I like crisp, sharp, clean pictures. 
90D did not do that for me. Other people have had success, don't get me wrong, maybe I had a bad camera, I don't know. And then I actually want to talk about more of the photos that come from the 1D X Mark III. Now I will tell you, there is an issue with this, uh, in my opinion, and I cannot download the picture straight from here, put in my camera, uh, in my Mac computer, and then just go to Lightroom. It just doesn't work that well. That's the other issue of upgrading when they went to CR3 uh, for the format, because I'm not spending six or $400 a year to buy a program that I've already bought once. So I have the uh, Adobe Converter, and right now it doesn't seem to want to work with this new camera. Downloading the images, you need EO, EOS Utilities. I've never used that. There's a disc that comes with every camera. I usually just throw it away and never keep them because I usually take the card out, put it in my camera, and do what I got to do in Lightroom, Photoshop, etc. Uh, that's just some of the downfalls that I found right now. But once again, this is a test period. I'm going to use all these lenses and I'm going to shoot every day. And I think it's a remarkable thing. Now, I will say the battery is huge on this camera and it, the charger is really super big too. And uh, here, let me take it out here and show you what I'm talking about. I'm using the dinky little batteries. This thing is this thing is huge. Hopefully, it lasts a long time, and we'll see what the shutter count is on that one. I'm unsure how fast I'm going to fill up my card. I got to go find some stuff. This virus crap that they're talking about and this overreaction. If our governor here in Tennessee is shut down the parks again, they were supposed to be open today, so I can go shoot eagles and stuff. But we will find something to take pictures of. Trust me, I can drive around. Social distancing, nobody will be near me but my wife. And speaking about which, I am videoing this on her camera, which is the 80D, which I'm going to tell you what. They say get the 90Ds better. People, I'd stay with the 80D. The value's held there. The camera's excellent. My wife takes phenomenal photos with it, so I'm happy with it. So we actually have two cameras here that we're going to be playing with. Uh, I'm not going to show you her 80D photos because that's her camera. I don't mess with the settings. I shoot manual, so I can do all my stuff. I'm going to try program mode, I'm going to try a ball, but I much prefer manual where I can set my own stuff up. Maybe that's some of the problem. I doubt it because I even tried program mode and it didn't work. I also shoot raw and she doesn't. So, keep up with this thing here. I'm going to finish this up as soon as we're done, but I just wanted to make a short opening portion of this video before the camera goes away. And then I'll start editing when I'm done. And this blog stuff is new to me still. Uh, <laughs> I'm not very good at it, I guess. Uh, maybe I am, maybe I ain't. I am uh, somewhat of an instructor, but once again, the video set up on this stuff, I, I cannot be like Adam Sandoval and all, and, and Young360 and the rest of these people who seem to, they got this stuff down to an art of science. Me, I much prefer to ride my trike, go out and shoot pictures and just enjoy life. But in the meantime, I might try some of this blog. I've actually asked uh, DP Review, if I could maybe help just tell cameras, write a review and do what I can on that part. At the bottom of my uh, description, there's a bunch of links to a lot of good videos and other things that you can watch. One of them is G&J Photography. That is our website where I plan to be a photographer once we move into my house. Uh, the house has a photo studio for me. I also have my own office where I don't have to contend sitting in the kitchen of a rental unit. So hang in there, folks, and I will be right back with you. Thank you. All right, let's sit here and talk about the 90D and what I didn't like about it. I take a lot of photos. This is an Osprey. They're out there, a couple of them have them. Pictures are kind of grainy. Did not like them. Yes. Same with my Eagles. I love my Eagles, but they were not crisp and clear. This guy, he should have been clear. It was a phenomenal shot, but the noise. This is the only good shot I got out of the thing. So, this is my wife using the 28 to 50 millimeter lenses that we practiced in the park one day. She came out pretty good as a you know, portrait style. So, I'm happy. Now, the 7D Mark II. This is my favorite camera. This is a young lady skateboarding in the park. I was able to capture, along with the couple here that I was paid, you know, they did photography for free here a little bit. Them on a motorcycle, of course. I enjoyed that. And then, of course, once again, I had them ride so I can get some shots of them doing that, too. This is my favorite couple. These two right here, spent a couple hours with them, just having a phenomenal time taking pictures. She says she wasn't a model, but she did pretty good. He, on the other hand, he could have been a professional model if he knew what he wanted to do and how to pose. So I'm happy with that. Now let's talk about the 1DX Mark III uh, and from here. All right, I got out today. Another Sunday day to get out and practice some old buildings. Now this little swallow here, I was lucky to get it, finally get a good shot of that thing. And, of course, the goose. 
I like them too. And again, another old building here. Uh, I love old buildings. And here's my favorite model. She's always posing worth it. Now these geese coming up here, they were like, wait, 100 meters away. So I had to crop them to get in. Still pretty good quality. Here we're practicing some dish <coughs> social distancing, which I hate. And of course, I had to crop that one too, just for the fun of it. Yeah, and bored in the morning, there was a Jeep going by, so I shot about 90 shots of him. Now this is the Tamron 18 to 400. Not a very good camera lens for this camera, particularly because it's an EFS lens. But I did manage to get a couple shots in there, kind of cropped these down a little bit to get, you know, a little bit more flare. A little penny in the jar, a little wine dropped in there, just for, just for the fun of it, because it was raining last night. But they're all right. Wife wasn't happy about the wine. Now here's the hawk. It flew around for a while, so I finally was able to follow it. Maybe shot 80 shots and uh, got a few good ones that I really like. And of course our donkey down the road from the house. Well, I'm back here. This will be the, the closing statements that I have on this uh, camera and what I think of it and how I've come to love this. Uh, it's the Canon 1DX Mark III. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this thing performed phenomenally for me maybe not so much for you I don't know anyway in the beginning I told you I had a problem downloading this computer uh, camera into my computer that problem was solved with a little experimentation and, and found the right cable I was actually to plug it into here plug it into my computer and download it but it has to go through Canon's utility software and once I was there I was able to download all my files into Adobe DNG converter and then into Lightroom from there. I transferred it over. It's a long drawn out process somewhat, but I actually enjoy it because it gives me something to do. I just wanted to pass that on. All right, rate of speed, 16 frames per second, a thousand frames in a buffer. I was able to just sit there and just blow this thing away. I mean, I thought I had a machine gun in my hand from my army days. And uh, I was actually to capture some of the shots that I want in the motion that I want. I posted one of them was a swallow. Uh, he was flying fast and low in the water. It tracked, it grabbed, and it copied. And I was very, very happy. Light was an issue. I was shooting into the sun, so that wasn't exactly the best time. Same with the geese. Uh, I, my wife kind of chased them to make them fly a little bit. They were probably 800, 900 meters out there. I had this Tamron uh, 150 to 600, and I got them tracked them and I shot maybe 150 shots so <clears throat> that brings you out through the drawing out process after that with that many frames per second you're going to be doing some editing there ain't no ifs ands and buts about that one but if you want the shot that you want you're going to have to do that anyway so I'm happy with that I'm not overly concerned about it and it will make you go like I said the rate of speed uh, I wanted to go over there and take pictures of the Eagles in, uh, in Donaldson Park but due to the coronavirus, everything is shut down. I'm forced to still stay in the house. You can't stand outside. People get upset, but I'll do it anyway. Uh, I watched the guy yesterday in the uh, YouTube video, and uh, I was impressed. Uh, he talked just about the camera and the photography aspect of this camera. He got in depth, yes, and uh, I will tell you, he, they, uh, just like him and other people, I can't do the back of the screen. I can't show you Lightroom yet. I haven't figured that all out yet until somebody teaches this old fart new tricks and besides that there's so many videos out there on this stuff you can but what I do know and I can tell you when people post that I shot uh, 85 millimeters one over 1000 my ISO was a 5100 or whatever their settings are they don't always work they don't work for me they might not work for you in the aspect that uh, everybody shoots differently our light is different our subjects are different so I prefer not to put it in my photos this time. If you do like them, let me know and I will add exactly what I shot the camera at and leave it at that, okay? So, the grip and the hold. I love it. I thought the weight was going to kill me, but I was able to hold it, function. I'm an old fart, so I go kind of like this when I shoot vertical, but there is a hand grip on there and that explains the four buttons on the front, which is your depth of field, the multi-function two button, two on here, two here. I mean, yeah, you can go in the manual and read that for yourself. Uh, one thing that was pointed out, when you do that little mouse tracker thing on the back, you do have to push the, the, far, the <clears throat> far right button, push it, and then you can move it, and then it locks. Yeah, it's different. But I'm telling you what, that thing is fast. That little mouse device on the back, and then you lock it, it is good. I like that one. So, like we talked about the 16 frames per second. 
shots came out, even when I cropped them, I could not be more happier. When I did that with my 90D, I had the noise, and that really pissed me off, and that's just where it led me to this camera here. This is my first blog. It'll probably be my last for some aspect, unless I get, I don't have the funds to go out and rent cameras all the time, rent lenses, and do reviews. I hope DP Review will uh, allow me to get a camera now and then or a lens and say, hey, would you test this out? And I have no problems with all that at the beginning. So, to be honest, this will probably be my last one. As I go back to my 7D Mark II, it should be in in a couple of weeks. Uh, I'm working out the deal as we speak, and I think I'll be just as happy with that. So that has to be, leads me to something that most people don't understand or never really thought of. If you want a camera and you really like a camera, I don't care if it's Nikon, Sony, uh, Olympus, it doesn't matter. I've had them all. What I found it, and I've learned from my mistakes, is I would rent the camera out and then test it for yourself for a week. That's all, I mean, it's cheaper to you know spend 150 bucks or like I did 400 for this and test it, see if you like it, see if it does everything you want it to do. And then it comes down to the biggest issue: what's in your wallet, as the commercial would say. Not everything's affordable for us. Not everybody has the same income. We're all from different walks of life, different financial situations. I personally will get this one. It might be a year or two. I have to save up for it. My priority right now is getting into my new house, my new office, and setting up my photo studio. This right here is just a kitchen in a rental unit, and it can't really go outside and do what I want to do. But from now on, I did get some pointers and watching other people's videos and what I can do. Uh, I mentioned that I did not add camera information. I can if you want me to. Like I said, everything buddy's different like that one. So I'm hoping that y'all can get out there and enjoy yourself and shoot. And I hope you like my video. I mean, this is all new to me. Uh, I will get better. I will have a setup in my office. So I got there at least outside. And maybe my wife can push the button for me now and then so I can talk more or less. It depends on what you guys want. So anyway, people, get out and have some fun with your cameras. Uh, if you like this, Please hit the subscribe button or like button. You can check out all my videos on YouTube or I left my link down there. The other links I'm going to leave you are some of the camera photographers that I really found that were inspirational and very informative on the actual camera. And as soon as I can learn how they put it on their screen and I can add it to my YouTube video, I might do that in the future just for the fun of it, okay? So anyway... Happy photography. Get out and ride your motorcycle if you're like me, you want to ride. Uh, if not, please enjoy life and take care of yourselves and your families. Thank you.